Rupert, you're back. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing good. That's good. I was only, I was just here. You were just here, but we are about to go into an American tradition. You know what that is? Uh, what? Well, today we're actually recording this on election day, so I'm wearing my red, white, and blue. Ooh. Yeah. I'm wearing red, white, and blue, too. You are. Look, you're a superhero. Hey. Uh, but we are talking about Thanksgiving, which is coming up later this month. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We're making turkey. Uh, nope, but we are making something that's one of your favorites. One of my favorites? Yeah, what's one Ice of your favorites? Nope, nope. Tapioca? Tapioca? I don't know, it sounds funny. We never made anything with tapioca. What if yeah, we made- the word sounds funny! Oh, but what's- Tapioca! A... What's another word? <laughs> You're having fun, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, well, what's another word that you like? Uh... Biscotti? Biscotti is a good one, too. Yeah. But how about something that you have for Thanksgiving? Uh-huh. And it's a word you like? Uh, it can make a jelly. We made a jelly out of it last year. Oh, there's a cranberry! Cranberry! Why did you say so? Uh, well, because I wanted you to say it. Oh! We are going to make a three ingredient cranberry relish. Ooh! Why don't we get to the ingredients? Okay. Our first ingredient is. Cranberries! Cranberries! We are going to use uh, two cups of whole cranberries. You can get them either uh, frozen or fresh. Uh, these are fresh cranberries. Two cups in one bowl. Two cups in one bowl of fresh cranberries. Three. Not three, but I'm who's three. three? I'm three. Rupert's three, but we're going to use two cups of fresh cranberries. Ooh. Our next ingredient is... It's an orange ball! Well, it is orange and it's a ball, but it's just an orange. Oh! Yeah, uh, so we're going to use one seedless orange. Uh, you can get them with seeds, but then you have to seed it. We're going. I don't like the seeds. No, the seeds wouldn't be it's very good. Tea. Yep, but it's we are. Tea. Mm -hmm. But we are going to keep the uh, the skin on the orange when we cut it up and put it into this relish. Oh. Yeah. But no seeds. No seeds. No seeds. And our final ingredient is. Blooper's favorite. Blooper's favorite sugar. Yay! Yay! We are sweet. going. Yep. Uh, now, the amount of sugar that you use depends on how sweet or how tart you like your relish to be. Um, how tart? What? How, how tart do you like it to be? Well, you can go between one and two cups, and we're going to use about a cup and a quarter in this one. Ooh. Yep, so it'll be a little sweet, but not too sweet. Not too sweet. We're going to start this with our orange. Um, I have a navel orange, but if you have an orange with seeds in it, uh, you're going to want to make sure after you cut this up to seed it. I'm going to just check to make sure there aren't any seeds. We are going to cut this into sections. Now you just want this to be small enough so that when you grind this all together with the cranberries and the sugar that you don't have to take too much time for it to break down. You may notice that I did not take the peel off the orange. The orange peel is actually part of this relish, so you don't need to peel it, just need to seed it if there are any seeds in there, and then we're ready for the next step. We have two cups of cranberries that have been poured into our food processor. You can also do this in a grinder if you wanted to do this by hand, but I don't want to take the time to grind this by hand. So now I'm going to just add my orange sections directly to the cranberries. Next, I'm going to add my sugar. This takes uh, between one and two cups of granulated sugar, just depending on how sweet you want it. I'm probably gonna go with a cup and a quarter to a cup and a half. Uh, you can always add more sugar, but I don't want it too, too sweet. This is more of a relish. It should have a little bit of a tart bite to it. And now I'm just going to process this until we have a nice chunky consistency and it's all mixed together. You don't want to turn this into a liquid though, so it works best if you pulse this. Okay, this has been blended. You can see that I did not reduce this down to a liquid or anything. This is meant to be nice and chunky. I'm going to let this sit for about 45 minutes to an hour right here at room temperature. I'm just going to keep it right in the food processor. 
I'm just gonna leave it sitting on the counter so that the sugar can dissolve into the liquid that came out of the cranberries and the oranges. And then I'm going to throw this into the fridge and chill it down uh, until it's ready to eat. So what do you think, Rupert? It tastes just like cranberries and orange. It tastes just like cranberry, uh, cranberries and orange. That's right. Um, this is a very fresh, uh, very uh, chunky relish that goes really well um, with your Thanksgiving turkey dinner. Ooh, yeah, or you could put it right on your turkey like a gravy. You could put it right on your turkey just like a gravy. Um, you could also put this on your turkey sandwich at the end of Thanksgiving. So Ooh, leftovers. Yeah, leftovers. This it makes a wonderful sandwich spread. You could put it on toast and you can just eat it with a spoon because it's really great. Uh, it's a great fresh alternative to some other side dishes that might be a little bit too heavy and it takes no time at all to make. Ooh. Thanks so much for joining me again, Rupert. Okay. No. It was so soon. Yeah, it was so soon, but it's great. We got, we're got we already getting started on our Thanksgiving uh, cooking, and Yay. you are a big help. Aww, okay. Uh, so what can people do if they like these recipes? Well, they, they, you can share them. You can share them. Uh, sharing this video helps us a whole lot. It lets other people know that we make three-ingredient recipes. What else can they do? I forget. You forget? <laughs> uh, people can comment down below if you have any recipes that you'd like us to try to make with three ingredients. We can certainly give that a shot. You can also subscribe and keep up with other things on this channel. So, yeah, yeah, you can do what he just said there. Yep. Uh, so you can keep up with all the videos. On Tuesdays, I talk about long hair for men. On Wednesdays, we have a new uh, show. Have you seen the new show? No, what is it? It's Sullivan Spaniel. Is it another doggy? It's another doggy. He's trying to be a famous YouTuber. Ooh, like we are. Like we are, just as <laughs> famous as we are, right. And then, of course, on weekends, we have George. George? Yeah, George is a kitty. The kitty! Yep. And, he and the other doggy. And the other doggy named Dog. And he talks about good self-esteem. So, a whole lot of stuff to keep up with. So, we'd lo really love it if you'd subscribe. So, uh, thanks for joining us this time. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! And our final ingredient is... Blooper's favorite. Blooper. Sugar. Sugar, yes. Oh, blooper's favorite. Oh, Blooper's favorite. Well, yeah, I couldn't... I, my like hearing's sugar, going. I like the sugar. I, I speak and... Uh, oh, well. Maybe we'll do another take? Okay. All right. <clears throat>